Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the SpeedyB FDQ, a compact device which is going to enable you to discharge between 3 to 6S LiPo batteries while charging other devices using a USB Type-C port that supports quick chargers protocols. In terms of packaging inside the box you are getting the battery discharger and a 13 cm long 6S balance extension cable. In terms of features and specs, the FDQ features an XT60 battery connector. It is used for connecting the battery to the discharger and pay attention that as the maximum supported input voltage is 26 volts, you won't be able to use the battery discharger with 6S electric batteries when the battery is fully charged. On the other end of the battery discharger, you can find a USB Type-C port and while you will be able to power the battery discharger without the battery being connected to the balance port, you won't be able to properly protect the battery from being over discharged and that's why you should always connect the battery to the battery discharger using the balance plug extension cord or by connecting the balance port of the battery directly to the battery discharger. As you can hear, right now I'm getting error number 6 because the voltage per cell of this battery is lower than the default value of 3.8 volts. Once the battery is connected to the battery discharger, you will be able to monitor the battery voltage and check the voltage per cell by short pressing the settings button. In order to go back to the previous screen, you need to short press the power button and in order to set the minimum voltage per cell, you need to long press the settings button. This value can be set all the way down to 3.6 volts and all the way up to 4.15 volts. In order to save your settings, long press the settings button. This is an LH3 battery, so I am going to set this value to 3.85 volts and since the voltage per cell is currently lower than this value, now you're going to see error number 6. When you hear this alarm and error number 6 is displayed on the screen, you still have enough time to disconnect the device which is connected to the discharger as it is not going to automatically shut down, but when the battery voltage is going to get too low, below 10.5 volts, the power is going to be cut off. Now, once the battery is connected to the battery discharger, the device which is connected to the USB Type-C port is going to be automatically turned on and in case you would like to turn it off, you need to long press the power button. So now, as you can see, the VFly Whoop Store 3 battery charger was turned off along with the SpeedyB battery discharger and in order to turn it on, you need to short press the power button. Now in addition to error number 6, which is the low voltage alarm that I just showed you, the SpeedyB discharger supports other types of errors, error number 1 and error number 2, short circuit and overheating warnings in which the device is going to be immediately turned off, error 3, overheating, where it just warns you that the device is overheating but it's not going to be turned off, over voltage, which then the discharger is going to be automatically turned off, just like error number 5 in which the discharger is also going to be turned off and error number 7 is going to warn you that the battery is not balanced and there is a difference of more than 0.3 volts between the battery cells. Now in terms of charging capabilities, the device supports different quick charging protocols including power delivery 3.0 and the maximum output power is 60 watts when a 6S battery is connected to the battery discharger, 40 watts when a 4S battery is in use, and 30 watts when a 3S battery is in use. I can assume that when a 5S battery is connected, the maximum output power is going to be 50 watts. A few months ago, I reviewed this device by SpeedyB. It's the Google BEC device, which enables you to power your DJI goggles using an XT60 battery connector of between 3 to 6 S batteries. And in terms of specs, I think that this device is similar, if not identical to that one, 
So in case you'd like to, you can also use the SpeedDB Discharger for powering your goggles. The difference between the Discharger and the Goggles BC device is that the Goggles BC is not using the balance plug of the battery, so it's not going to protect your battery from over discharging, whereas this device would. So in case you are looking for a device that is going to enable you to power USB Type-C power devices on the go, I think that the SpeedDB FDQ can be a useful device, especially considering that it is priced at $20. You can also use it, of course, for charging batteries on the go, for powering soldering stations and so on, and of course, for charging your phone, computer and other mobile devices. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video of the SpeedDB FDQ. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. I wish you all happy charging, happy flying, and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.